Hey, it's Frank from Best Friends Dog Training, and today we're going to talk about Colin Kaepernick standing up for the flag and training skittish dogs with remote collars. Not a popular subject. Hope you like it. Recently, the news exploded about an overprivileged football player who exercised his right not to stand up for the flag. He has that right. We have the right also to be outraged. It is, it's not a right. Uh, we have the right to disagree about this. Um, what does this have to do with dog training? Well, we see this a lot with what types of training should be used for what kinds of dogs. There's an entire sect of dog training that thinks that nothing negative should ever happen. So, skittish dogs, let's talk about that. This is not popular to speak about publicly, but using remote collars specifically and other training equipment, prong collars, martingales, on skittish dogs is highly recommended in the correct hands. Basically, a skittish dog is afraid, why? What are we talking about? What's actually happening to the dog? Okay, everyone's like, oh, it was abused. Not necessarily. Sometimes it's just genetic. Sometimes it's upbringing. It's often lack of rules. We see a lot of dogs that are super skittish because they have zero rules. I have a dog in right now that completely understands its reward system. The training that the owner did with food was excellent. She's seven months old, the German Shepherd. Excellent, excellent training. The dog understands everything. However, when somebody comes in, she tries to run away. And if she thinks she can't, or now that she's getting older, if the kids are there, or the owners are there, she decides to try to defend them and is threatening to bite people. So what's actually happening? The dog, when somebody new comes in, is under a constant state of negative reinforcement. If you push the dog too far, meaning you get too close to it, you get too close to somebody it cares about, it goes into a state of punishment and it tries to get itself out of it by, it has found that when it uses its mouth, people back away. So it has been positively rewarded. Pressure was put on by an external source. It used its mouth and the thing moved away. Negative reinforcement, okay, to a point where it became a little punishing, corrected, she issued a correction and the thing moved away. That's what's happening. So now this becomes a cycle that gets worse and worse with people putting their hands in, taking them out. She gets more nervous, she snaps, they come out. Every time they put on pressure, she, she snaps, they relieve it it increases to the expectation that she can do this again. And we find this for dogs that try to run, dogs that try to bite, dogs that try to do a lot of things when it's fear-based. So, what it, especially a remote call, what it can do is it can pre create pressure, okay? It can create a little negative reinforcement to annoy the dog into compliance. We replace the perceived negative reinforcement with actual physical negative reinforcement and so the dog learns to overcome the perceived pressure. And they come, so as a trainer, dog doesn't like me, I use it, they come towards me, and you see a confused look in their face, like, what's going on? I don't like him, but every time I come near him, this thing shuts off. They go away, happens again, come back, shuts off. Goes away, happens again, comes back, shuts off, they get praised. Suddenly I can touch them in a matter of minutes. What we're doing is we're changing the dog's perception. Annoying thing away, happy thing here even though I didn't like it five minutes ago. That's how it works. And once we do that, we start building the dog's confidence. We also can instill rules for the dog. And that's been missing for a lot of these dogs. There's been no rules. There's only been good dog. There's never been the not the best idea. Now, on the flip side of the positive group that doesn't believe in anything, there's the poorly trained group that uses leashes and knee collars horribly. And they a dog's a little nervous and they correct the snot out of the dog. Well, this group over here to the left, ironically, this group to the left is correct about this group all the way to the right. It's the middle that we really need. Kind of like this country right now. We don't need all the way left. We don't need all the way right. We kind of need in the middle. We got to bring it back. So just because you don't like something doesn't mean it doesn't work. Just because it's not for you doesn't mean it's not for somebody else. 
okay? We're a country of freedoms, not just in training dogs, but in freedoms of marriage as we progress, in racial equality as we progress, and the right to stand up or not stand up for old glory. So, it's Frank from Best Friends Dog Training reminding you that your dog's level of training will not rise to your level of expectations. Your dog's training will only rise to the level of consistency and skills in your training set. Anyway, a little long worded. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And no matter which side you're on, please vote.